everybody, this is Bonnie, and we're going to make this card. Um, I really, really loved this card, and um, I saw it on Pinterest, and I've added my own little tweaks to it, and I'm not really sure how they did it. I just saw the card and said, in my mind, mentally, I have to remember to make this card. So, all right, so let's get started with it. So I took the old wood grain, because there's a newer one that they have in... Um, Stampin' Up! catalog, and this is in the big catalog, and I just took, no, I took Early Espresso ink, and I just stamped up this wood grain really good, and then I took some baked brown sugar cardstock, and I put it right on top, took a piece of scrap paper, and just gave it a good rub. <clears throat> and then removed it. Then I went ahead and um, I made a template for the cross. And I'll have this template um, on my blog for you to download. And one of my things was is that I really liked this um, knot that they had in it right there. So I wanted to make sure that I got that knot in there. So I just laid my cross down on top like this. And I took my pencil. And I outlined it the cross. And then I had my little pattern. Then I took my scissors and I cut this out. And save all these scraps because you can use all these scraps, you know, the back sides of them. So I didn't get rid of them. So we'll save all the scraps. And then if I left any marks, I just kind of went and erased them. No biggie. So then I went ahead and I took the um, Early Espresso. If I can get it opened. And a sponge dabber. And just to add some depth to my cross and to give it like a shadow effect. I just sponged all around the crop. Then I went and added the ribbon and I just used some perfect plum ribbon and I don't know um, Maybe about eight inches I used, I'd say. And I took some glue dots. Let's get rid of some of this tail there. And my piercer. And I just added a couple glue dots in the corner of the cross on that side. And I added one on this side. And then I kind of scrunched it up a little bit because I wanted the scrunched up kind of look. And then I pushed down on the glue dots like that. So it kind of looked like that. And then so that these would lay flat underneath, I went ahead and added two more glue dots underneath on the ribbon. So I just kind of went this. Get another one. I like that. And then I just gave them a little trim. So there we go. And then I took the leaf from the bird 
stamp and um, or bird punch, I should say. And I punched out one of them. And again, I took a glue dot. And I kind of wrapped it around the leaf. Oops. And then I just stuck that right there. And we'll set that off to the side for a minute. Then I have a very, very tiny piece of paper here. And I took um, some stays on ink. And I have this stamp that says Happy Easter. And I stamped it up. And I'm just going to stamp right on there. Happy Easter. And this will probably have to be trimmed a little bit. Because what I want to do is I want it to make it look like a tag. So, so we can get this on the camera so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just trimming off. I don't know the exact measurement for this, but the idea is you want it small enough. Oops. To get it to go inside, if you could see this, you want it to go inside like that, and then you want to be able to turn it and then. Oh, I got it caught in there. Probably should have made it a little shorter. Here, let me trim this. Definitely don't need it that long. So again, you want to go inside the side of the... I'm getting that. And then turn it so it looks like that. So see how I have that? And then you want to punch it. So it gives you like a tag look like that. And then I took um, a hole punch, very tiny hole punch. You could use your piercer. Um, I just used a tiny hole punch. Took some linen thread. I'll just cut off a piece here. And I ran it through the hole. Tied a knot. Okay. Um, oops, I forgot to sponge it. I did give it a little sponging, so we'll do that now. I should have sponged it before I added the linen thread, but I forgot, so we will just... Then we'll get the cross back in here. And what I did was I just kind of looped it on the end of the flower. Yeah. Brought it up here. And kind of tucked it in. Made this stick underneath like in a circle. Like that. Now then I took... Um, this is called, what's the stamp set for the flower? Piteous Petals. And I went ahead and I punched out this flower right here. And I used the punch. You can get this as a bundle in the Stamping Up um, mini catalog. This is in the new mini that's out. So uh, I went ahead and I stamped that. And I also sponged this. And just a little tip for you guys out there, if you're new at, um, at getting Stamping Up products, um, a good thing that you can do too, if you have a sponge and say you don't have the ink pad, but you're just collecting the markers or whatever, you can take, let me find the right one, you could take the brush end of this and you can brush with the marker on a sponge like that. So if you don't have the ink, you can still do sponging. 
if you are just got the markers or if you don't have this color because you're just collecting them, but you have all the markers, this is a way to use them too so you can still sponge. So then I sponged that. Then you want to take, I took another use from the Itty Bitty Punches. There's this little flower and I just punched out um, a flower and I took the end of this and I pushed it down on a soft foam mat like this and I just kept going around until it kind of formed up a little bit. So then I went ahead and I took a glue dot and I glued this. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to be out of camera. I have a tendency to do that sometimes. I haven't done a video in a while, everybody. <laughs> and then I'm going to stick that right on there like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take another glue dot. Put that in the back of this one. And then I'm going to stick that right over top of that ribbon. So it looks like that. And I went ahead and grabbed um, the pearls. And I took one of the pearls off. Oh. I put that right in there. Oh, I love the way this is coming together. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> All right, let's get my card base and stuff back out over here. I had already pre-done this, but I took the tulip embossing folder and I just took a piece of paper that was four by five and a quarter and I stuck it in here and I ran it through the embossing. And I just did that in Whisper White. Then I took another piece of Whisper White cardstock and again, this was five and a half, and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. It's a standard card. And then I'm going to take some pop-up dots here. <laughs> Try to center this the best I can. Oh my goodness, I'm having a difficult time. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to add some pop-up dots to the back of my cross. Piece off last. Center this on the card, just like so. I'm going to peel this piece off. And I kind of have it going off to the side, just like that. And that says Happy Easter. Well, these are my cards for today, everybody. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you really enjoyed this. And give it a try. Let it go.